Welcome to another exciting episode from GMT Driving School. This one we're going to look at an advanced theory on roundabouts. Um, in this example we're going to take the right hand lane for straight ahead at the Asda roundabout. So we are lined up in the right hand lane to turn right at the big second roundabout. So you can see on that solid black line we've got a lane change staying in the right lane. The most common fault there really is cutting back over to the left lane at the first roundabout. That can be pretty dangerous, especially if it's last minute. A lot of students will actually get used to being in the right hand lane here to go back to Ashton. Maybe that's where they live when they're going home from their lessons. So remember if an examiner has asked you to go straight ahead towards Bedlington or Cramlin, it will be the left lane as normal here. So we're coming up to the first roundabout where we need to move over into the right hand lane. So you must be checking your middle right mirror a fair few times to make sure no one's going to try and overtake. And it does happen because people get a little bit impatient trying to pass a learner so they can dive past in the right lane. So you best make sure that that middle right mirror has been checked a few times to move over in the right. If you feel that you need to, you can put a right signal on briefly just to protect that space. As you can see from the road markings, it is perfectly legal to go in the right hand lane to go straight ahead at this roundabout, uh, but you could also turn right as well. So make sure you don't put that right signal on because people might think you're turning right. It's really important to stay in that right lane as well. Maybe a little brief left signal here as you leave it, but don't leave it on too long because people might think you're cutting back over. From this point, you can really start taking advantage of being in the right lane at that first roundabout. You see you're already over in the right lane to turn right towards the A189, which you've probably been asked to do by your examiner or your instructor. So you'd just be staying here and not have to do that last minute dangerous lane change, which could fail you if you do it in front of someone. And the last element on this roundabout, it starts to turn into a spiral roundabout. So if we zoom in and have a look at those road markings, you can see that that right hand marker starts pushing out to the left. And if you look at the little map, you can see how we're going to move over to the left there. It really is worth having a middle left mirror check as you're doing it. And start gliding over to the appropriate lane to come off at the next, next exit. 